Suez Canal, stretching 193 kilometers, connects the Mediterranean Sea to the Red Sea. Before it was built, ships traveling between Europe and Asia had to take a 10,000 kilometer detour around Africa. Today, the Suez handles about 12 to 15% of global trade, including nearly 30% of all container traffic worldwide. In 2023 alone, over 24,000 ships passed through the Suez, carrying 1.2 billion tons of cargo. That's double the size of the entire US economy in trade value. The Panama Canal, by comparison, is 82 kilometers long and connects the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. It saves ships from an 8,000 kilometer journey around South America's treacherous Cape Horn. Though smaller than the Suez, the Panama Canal still handles about 5% of global trade and processes $270 billion in goods per year, with 13,000 ships passing through annually. At first glance, the Suez Canal seems more important. It moves more trade, handles more ships, and has a larger global impact. But let's go deeper. Let's now talk about the Ever Given disaster. In March 2021, the world got a terrifying glimpse of what happens when a canal stops working. A massive container ship, Ever Given, got stuck in the Suez Canal for six days. Over 400 ships were blocked, trade losses hit $9 billion per day, and global supply chains spiraled into chaos. Oil prices jumped 6% overnight, and major industries like car manufacturing faced weeks of delays just because of a single ship. The global supply chain is so fragile that one mistake in the Suez Canal sent shockwaves through the world economy. Meanwhile, the Panama Canal is facing an even bigger problem, climate change. Unlike the Suez, which is at sea level, the Panama Canal relies on freshwater locks to move ships across different elevations. Each ship requires about 200 million liters of water, and that water comes from Lake Gatun. But droughts have hit the canal hard. Water levels have dropped dramatically, forcing authorities to reduce the number of ships per day from 38 to just 24. This has already caused major shipping delays, increasing costs by 36%. If climate change continues shrinking Panama's water supply, the canal may not be able to function at full capacity. So, while a Suez blockage is temporary, the Panama Canal's problems could last decades. But what if one of these canals shut down permanently? If the Suez Canal closed, ships traveling between Europe and Asia would need to detour around Africa's Cape of Good Hope. This would add 10,000 kilometers to each journey, increasing fuel costs by at least $300,000 per ship and delaying deliveries by two weeks. If the Panama Canal shut down, ships traveling between Asia and the Americas would have to sail around Cape Horn, one of the world's most dangerous waters. This would double travel times between China and the US East Coast and increase shipping costs by millions per trip. But the real cost isn't just in money, it's in global stability. Energy trade would be crippled. 8% of the world's LNG, liquefied natural gas, moves through the Panama Canal. 10% of global oil shipments rely on the Suez Canal. Food prices would surge. 50% of global grain exports pass through either the Suez or Panama. The world's biggest banana exporters depend on the Panama Canal. Major economies would take massive hits. China, the US and Europe would suffer trillions in trade losses. Countries in Africa and South America would be cut off from key supply chains. A long-term closure of either canal could push the world into a full-blown recession. What about the geopolitical power struggle? These canals aren't just trade routes. They are weapons of economic power. The Suez Canal is controlled by Egypt, earning the country $9.4 billion in toll fees annually. But it has also been the center of conflict, like the 1956 Suez Crisis, when Egypt nationalized the canal, leading to an invasion by the UK, France and Israel. The Panama Canal was built by the US but handed over to Panama in 1999. Today, it's a major point of US-China tension, as China has invested billions in Panama's ports and logistics industry. Who really controls the future of the canal? The answer may not be as obvious as it seems. So which canal is more important? Let's break it down. Global trade impact. Suez Canal 12 to 15% versus 5%. Which detour is worse? Suez Canal Africa route is longer and costlier. Which canal has more traffic? Suez Canal 24,000 ships versus 13,000 ships per year. Which canal has caused bigger economic shocks? Suez Canal $9 billion per day in 2021. Which canal is facing bigger long-term risks? Panama Canal water shortages could last decades. Which canal has greater geopolitical importance? 
Suez Canal, Middle East tensions, military control, energy supply. While the Panama Canal is crucial for trade between the Americas and Asia, the Suez Canal is the single most critical waterway for global commerce. If it shut down permanently, the effects would be catastrophic. Fuel prices would skyrocket, supply chains would collapse, and global trade would slow to a crawl. So if we had to choose the most important canal, the Suez Canal takes the crown. But do you agree with this verdict, or do you think the Panama Canal is underrated? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, peace.